Folks, I have a need. A need to blow stuff up. So then, today we'll sit down with the slimy green goo here, and tomorrow we'll upgrade to gunpowder, everyone. Sound good? Sounds good. So let's get to it. And while it is indeed possible to get Slurtle Slime via one additional source of which we'll talk about later, the bulk of our explosive snot gathering will be done via Slurtles and Snurtles. And where are the majority of Slurtles and Snurtles going to be, you ask? Well, the wilds, everyone. That is where we need to go in order to even think about picking some slime. And when we get there, we've got a couple options on the table too. For you see, both Slurtles and Snurtles themselves drop two Slurtle Slime each upon death, so murder away, right? Yeah, I guess, as they do respawn, and also drop some of the best armor in the game, so it's definitely a viable option. But, if it's just slime alone that we're after, then perhaps not. So here's my suggestion. If you do want to murder, check this video out. As yes, this non-murder clause, at least for today, is going to include the process of breaking their Slurtle Mounds too. Because these things are not renewable, folks, so it is a bad idea to go breaking them. Sure, they might drop three Slurtle Slime each, but it's not worth it. No, no, no. Here is how it's supposed to work, folks. An earthquake occurs every one to three days. Said earthquake drops five to six objects per second for 10 to 15 seconds overall. Some of those objects are gonna be minerals like rocks, flint, gold, or niter. And then such minerals actually entice the slurtles and snurtles so much that they then begin to naturally emerge to eat them until they are gone. Yup. That's it! That is the natural progression of Slurtle Slime production. And these slow snails love to do it so much that they will roam pretty far just for a snack, too. But hold up, Beard. Why is any of this needed just to understand Slurtle Slime? Well, I'm telling you all this in hopes of you just gaining an understanding of how to actually handle these things when you're around them. For you see, if no more minerals are on the ground, the Slurtles around will actually come at your own inventory as they want to eat whatever minerals you've got. Or better yet, they will bite their way through any other containers or backpacks in the vicinity if there are no other options. Now this last one could actually be a great way to concentrate the roaming snails for ease of access. But what happens when we actually watch slime, but we don't want to wait for an earthquake? Well, it's pretty simple actually, cause guess what? We can force the Slurtles or Snurtles out with fire, folks. Toss whatever minerals you don't mind using for slime on the ground, ignite a mound, wait for a snail to focus on a mineral stack of your choosing, put out the fire, and wait. And well done, you've essentially created one of the only slime farms in this entire game. But how does slime production actually work? In short, Maths, and I know that's gonna upset some of you, but every mineral besides marble, moonstone, or moon glass has a value assigned to it, numbering 1 through 5. And Slurtles and Snurtles must eat up to a mineral value of 5 in order to produce one Slurtle Slime. So rocks and flint here will need to be in high numbers, obviously, to put out a couple things of slime alone. Golden Niter, on the other hand, can be eaten in sets of three to produce one pile of slime. Slurtles and Snurtles can eat but two Thulesite to net us one slime, but who in their right bloody mind would do that exchange? But finally, nearly every gem in the game comes out to a one-to-one -one ratio in slime production. So slime galore if you got gems to spare. Note though, they will eat entire stacks of minerals at once, so you don't really have to do what I just did here. You can just drop a stack, sit back, and wait. But if something hits them when they're eating, they will drop however many minerals are left in their slimy stomachs. Yes, folks, it's pretty straightforward actually. Not that hard. Good luck and have fun. But now let's talk what Slurtle Slime can actually do for us now that we've got tons of the stuff. Slurtle Slime here can actually be used to refuel lanterns and miner's hats in case you didn't know, folks. However, the green goo isn't exactly super efficient about it, restoring but 9.5% per Slurtle Slime to be exact, which is the lowest around. Still, it's good to know. But really, and I think we kind of all knew this already, Slurtle Slime is just natural gunpowder, folks. 
Well, except that it's significantly weaker at the end of the day. Gunpowder deals 200 damage a pile. Slurtle Slime deals 50. So yeah, even if you got yourself a stack of the slimy stuff, you're only putting out 2,000 potential damage as compared to 8,000 if there were 40 gunpowder instead. Don't get me wrong, 2,000 damage a boom is still pretty darn good, all things considered. And heck, Slurtle Slime is a fine alternative for a great many things, just given how easy it is to amass. Oh, but by the by, Big Tentacles also have 10% chance to drop a single bit of slime. And slime itself can actually cause earthquakes in the caves very similar to how gunpowder can. Only, you know, it's going to require more slime to do so because it's weaker. Potentially four times as much depending on timings of an earthquake. But to be exact, slime speeds up earthquake timers by 50 seconds, while gunpowder does so by 200. And, believe it or not, there you have it everyone. All I've got for you on Slurtle Slime and Slurtle Slime production from within don't start together here. There's really no real way to quote unquote farm the green crap per se without doing plenty of mineral gathering and placing and sacrificing ourselves. But hey, if you got it, then why not? Slurtle Slime could come in handy in a pinch. Oh, and I suppose you could just actually force earthquakes over and over and over again for minerals too, but guess what? If you're doing that, that means you've already got gunpowder or slime to spare. So yeah. But thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, slime time, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye.